Hey everyone, this is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art painter. I'm an artist. I'm, I'm, I'm an awesome artist. <laughs> I'm coming to you from a corner of my art studio in front of the awesome uh, whiteboard to talk to you guys about some some very cool stuff. I'm, I've, I've been I've been I've been uh, I've been going on my journey, learning, 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 and learning, and, and and trying to trying to pass out some of that stuff to to art collectors, to artists, to to uh, art buyers and, and interior designers and interior decorators and all the people that love the arts, I am starting to share out some of my awesome secrets, you know. <laughs> so, so check it out. I just did a video about p hanging your paintings or your prints at eye level, right, for alt optimal viewing. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's just, you know, it's the way to do it. Now, it's not set in stone, so don't be like, oh, man, I know I went to this gallery, it wasn't at eye level, or they're doing it wrong. Now, I'm just like, I don't know. I just know that that is, it's a standard way of hanging paintings because it's, it's it, it feels good, right? You rest. You're not, you're not moving up or down, okay? So, have you ever been to a, a gallery? This especially happens in mom and pop galleries. It's not so much the, 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 the big guys, right? The big guys really know what they're doing, uh, especially the museums. But the mom and pop galleries or the little, you know, shops or whatever, you go and you see artwork and you're like, oh man, again, this is one of those things. I don't know, it doesn't feel right. I like the artwork, but it's, it feels like this, this you know, what's, what's going on? It's too cluttered. <laughs> Especially those art shows where artists, uh, the planner painters like to do that, the, the art fairs and the, you know, outdoor art shows or whatever. So what happens, okay? Here's what happens. I'm going to give you, uh, first of all, what happens with, with the outdoor painters, okay? So they, put, they set up their booth, right? This is, this is what happens. The art, you know, the outdoor artists or whatever, photographers. Okay, so they set up their booth. And usually they have a triptych like this, right? Usually, not always. Uh, some of them don't, some of them have different stuff, whatever. We're going to talk about the triptych. It doesn't matter, I'm just talking about space, okay? So they unfold this thing or whatever, you know, a couple of doors, three doors or whatever, right? Now they want to use as much space as possible, right? Of course, they want to use as much space because they're renting their area. It's usually 10 by 10 feet or something like that. I don't know. I haven't been in one in a long time. But uh, what happens is that they'll put their paintings, you know, like this, right? And of course, it's understandable, right? It's, it's completely understandable, right? I'm not talking bad about this because this is what they need to do. This is not what I'm trying to, you know. This is what they need to do, right? Because they need to utilize as much space as possible. I understand this. I'm not talking about this. You go to something like that, you're going to, you know, here's the grass, right? <laughs> you're going to you're going to kneel, you're going to see, you're going to scratch and sniff because it's outdoors because you're 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 meeting the artist or whatever and the artist is trying to get as much bang for their buck. Okay, this is not what I'm talking about here. Now, some people out there suggest that you shouldn't put so many pieces out there if you're an artist. I don't know about that. Some people swear by it. Others don't. I don't really care much for it because I think that people buy what they see and, and you're not selling jewelry. Although some people think tend, tend to think that artists are selling jewelry for some one reason or another. I don't know why. But anyways, that's another, that's another chatter. What I'm talking about is you go to a gallery and then they have a painting right next to the other one, right next to the little one, and then they have three medium ones. And then, you know, I get it. They too are trying to utilize their space. I understand that too. The problem with this is that this is permanent. So the other one, psychologically, you understand that, you know, it's like going to, I'm not trying to downgrade these shows because there are some shows that, man, the booth is very expensive. Uh, but it's sort of like, you know, you're like kind of hustling it, you know, they go and they're like, let me see the art, let me see, especially the art buyers or the art consultants or the, you know, people who are, who are, uh, who are getting artwork for their clients or the, or the, you know, business offices or whatever. That's what they do. You know, they're, they're trying to shake hands and move and trying to see the artwork because, you know, it's, they're only there for a weekend or whatever, you know, but on a gallery, it, the, the work is there for, I don't know, a month, two months, sometimes six months, sometimes it never sells and it just collects dust there forever. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just assuming. <laughs> so, what is the proper way of studying it? Well, I already talked to you guys about running a line, an imaginary line through it, right? 
in through the middle of the paintings, right? You just run and you place the paintings in the middle, right? That's really what I'm saying. So that's eye level, right? At 64 inches high, right? So let's say it doesn't matter whether you have a small one or a large one next to it. The small one, the line will also go there, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? It's the same thing. You follow the same rule in order for, for to, to have a, a, a great view. Okay, so what happens is that many people put a little painting, they're trying to utilize the space, they put many little prints or paintings next to it, it clutters the whole thing. Good rule of thumb to do, I believe, I've been in a handful of shows myself, is to at least, at least, at least, at the very least, leave two feet. Why two feet? It just feels right, okay? <laughs> so, some, some, uh, some people like to leave more, four feet, three feet. I believe two feet of, of just space, and I'm not talking about from middle to middle, because that's no, no, right? Of just space, from corner to corner. So you have a painting right here, and then you have another one right here. Make sure you have at least two feet right here. This will create a more pleasant why? Because you need that dead space around it. You need that, you know, dead space around each piece. It helps it. It makes the, it makes the, the, the painting shine. It makes the painting or the print stand, you know, and, and, and really be appreciated. Why? Because there's nothing around it. There's nothing around it cluttering it. There's nothing around it, you know, saying, hey, 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 look at me. Maybe you're looking at a nice... I don't know, a little seascape right here, right? With a little sailboat and blah, 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 you know. And then right here, there's like a, a nude right here, you know. And and over here, there's like a, a horse or something or, or I don't know, or another big boat or whatever. And, and, and they're calling you, right? Especially when, you, when, when people play. I don't want to confuse you anyways. Because um, the next one is going to be about placing. <laughs> but this is... This is essentially what you want to do. You want to keep at least two feet, okay? Two feet. Two feet between each painting. Don't clutter it. I know you. I know you galleries. And I understand. I understand. Especially don't do this, okay? Don't do stuff like this. Unless it's part of the piece. Like don't put, you know, let's say this is a floor. Some of you even, anyways. <laughs> Do whatever you want. I'm just suggesting something awesome here. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine artist. I hope you enjoyed this video. The next ones are going to be even more awesome. -er. Thank you so much. Till next time.